Hello and welcome to Urpak tutorial. This is lesson 8. Today we will do production, but production that is different from assemble, for example. Because here in assemble you will create a finished product and probably you will, you will sell it. And production that we will do today is rather different. Let's, for example, produce a chair. Go to code lists, go to product and services and enter new product. Let's say we need all parts of a chair. So, first part, screw, let's say, barcode, unit of measurement, pieces, OK, this is good, and click OK. Next, next part of a chair is metal rod, unit of measurement, meter, and click OK. Then another part of a chair we have, for example, steel casting, unit of measurement, meters. Then we will add another part, let's say paint, both protective and basic. Enter its barcode. Enter another part. Paint. Paint, let's say, white. Unit of measurement, also liter. Enter another one. Furniture foam. Enter its barcode. And let's say, meter. Another one, cloth, barcode, meter. Another one, plastics. Pieces, okay, and the last one let's say packing barcode and unit of measurement stays in pieces click ok now let's create a partner go to code list go to partner list and create new new partner let's say for example abc company enter teen you can enter other data but for now skip this click ok and let's enter another one for example supplier let's say abc supplier click ok now let's purchase all these chair parts go to purchasing we'll skip purchase order processing and request for quotation go straight to supplier invoice and click on new, new supplier invoice and here we will enter the name of our partner, let's say ABC supplier, here it is document type invoice and now let's make a purchase by the purchase price of 0 0.25 then we had metal rod here it is enter its quantity then we had steel casting here it is then we had paint and let's say that we want 25 liters then we had cloth here it is let's say 60 and let's say plastics here it is okay and here are basic parts that make a chair after you're done click ok now go to your inventory and stock list to check and here are your items and now let's create our work operations go to code lists other work operations and here we'll create four basic work operations that we have within within the production of this chair first we have welding and unit of measurement is in hours then another one is pending also in hours then sewing also in hours and packing also 
in hours. Now go to production and skip pr production order, go straight to production to create new document, phase one. And let's say that we spent two meters of metal rod. And below enter the work operation for this, let's say bending, and that we spent, for example, two hours of bending. And let's put on another material we spent, let's say steel casting, for example, we spent 3 meters. And let's add another work operation, welding, here it is, let's say we spent 3 hours, for example. So now when you click OK and go to your inventory and stock list, you will see that, for example, metal rod was used in production. And here are all necessary data. And now, in the meantime, let's create some health finished products. Go to code lists, go to product and services, and create new product. And let's say that our health product is share seat. Enter its barcode, click OK, and another product, let's say chair, enter its barcode, and these are products that we will have after our product. Now we will create another phase of our production, and we will call it phase 2, and we will enter materials we spent, let's say furniture foam, cloth, and let's say that we for example, we spent 4 meters of foam and 5 meters of cloth and for work operation we will put that we had bending and let's say we spent 3 hours of bending and we can en and here we can enter our finished product, let's say chair seat and let's say that we produced 4 chair seats and now click OK. So now when you go to your inventory and stock list, you will see that you have produced a half finished product. Here it is, chair seat. Now let's paint our chair. But first we will create a frame for it. Go to code lists, go to product and services and create new product. Let's say chair frame. Enter its barcode and click OK. Now we'll create a phase 3. Click on new, new production, let's say phase 3, and since we're doing painting, let's say we spent, for example, 2 liters of protective and basic paint, and let's say that we spent 2 liters of white paint, chair frame, here it is, and let's say we produced 4 frames, click OK. Now go to your inventory and stock list to check and here it is, this is your chair frame. And now we will go to production again, production and create new final phase. And let's say that here we spent packing, quantity 4, let's say screws, let's say we spent 16 screws, plastic, let's say 24. And now we will use our finished products, chair seat and chair frame. Click OK. And now when you go to your inventory and stock list, you will see that your chair frame and your chair seat do not have their stock prices because they were spent during this process. Now if you go to accounting and journal list, you will see here it is, your final phase production. Now let's sell this chair. Go to sales, skip sales order and go straight to invoice. Create new, new invoice and we will sell this chair to our ABC company partner. Okay. Let's say we sold two chairs by the price of $250. And now when you click on print, you will see how your invoice looks like. And here it is. So. You sold two chairs, here is the price, amount. Now click journal voucher and click preview. We have sales revenue of goods, margin, 
and other useful data. Now, if you go to analyze value structure of output merchandise and services, you will see that all expenses went to your margin amount during the process of production of this chair. And this ends our lesson 8. Thank you.